guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how to create search bar with search filter in react.js well as you can see here i have a simple ui on my screen and here i have headings and after that i have a simple search bar and below this i am listing some of the username with the order number okay so now here let me type a letter and as you can see it got searched here so right now i wrote here kim and i got the kim record now let me start with something so i wrote here a and as you can see i got this many records and let me try with this r so here r and i got only two record because a r is matching here and a r is matching here too okay so this is the one way I, I am implemented the search and here as you can see I have this cancel button on click of this all record will get loaded again. Now let's try by order number. So here let me type here 1 1 and as you can see I got only one record because here 1 1 is matching. Now let me try the different one. So here as you can see 9 0 so let me try 90 and here i got two record because here 90 is matching and here again 90 is matching so in this video we will create this search filter okay so if i talk about a real time example let's consider you have list of few restaurants you want to filter one or two restaurant based on the condition it might be the timing or based on the food uh, availability and based on the rating might be so in order to filter those you can use this filter okay so now let's jump to vs code and implement this filter so here as you can see already i have created a sample project so now let me come to ui so this is how it's looking so right now let me remove this boilerplate code and let me write my headings okay and now here already i have created a sample data so i kept in a different file data.js and here i note it down as a table data so if you want you can make it as a customer data so let me make it as a customers data okay so now here right now what we have to do is we have to look through that and we have to get rendered all the data first of all so for that here we need to import so i will write here customer data dot map map is a function which can look through whole data one by one and this function is gonna to give me a object as a props here so right now here i will call it as a customer okay and right now i am gonna to call a component called cart which doesn't exist so we need to create this component to render those data one by one let's come and create a folder called components and inside this let's create a another one folder card and here let's create a file okay now make it as a functional component so react from react and here card I am gonna to return here a div so customer card okay right now we need to export this function so export default this card and now let's get back here and import it here so card okay now save it and let's come back so here as you can see I got multiple time cards because of the record so how many record i have that many times here it got called okay so now we need to pass this customer info here so i will call it as a user info so here user info and i will pass this customer data so customer now let's come to this component the structure 
user info and right now here let's console log first of all name property so here h2 i will write here user info dot and here name okay so now as you can see we are getting all the names here well so instead of writing this let's destructure this property so here name and i need a order so order because this order contains there with the order number so right now order and equal to user info well so right now here i have to use this name and here i will be using order okay so now let's get back and this is how it's looking so now let's give a, a style to this so here i will write a style so here i am gonna use inline styling so for that here background color okay so here hatch and i have a color so i will go with that color okay now we have to define a padding so let's define padding bottom and here i will mark this as a 5 pixel yeah that's enough save it and let's get back so here as you can see this is how our component is looking right now okay so now here this is a quite big so we can convert this heading tag in a paragraph tag that might be better so here paragraph okay and now as you can see it looks more better well so we have listed all the data here one by one right now we have to build our search component okay so right now here let's come back and here let's write import and type i am gonna to provide as a search here okay so now if i save and come back here as you can see i have this input field let's provide placeholder so placeholder so type something to search okay so now as you can see we are getting this now we have to provide some of the uh, stylings so let me write those uh, style here so const input a uh, style and the first uh, style will contains the padding okay so padding i am gonna to provide 12 and here let me write a uh, style and here input a uh, style padding is 12 pixel and width i want as a hundred percent so here width hundred percent and next property is font size so font size and here i will mark this as a 105 percent okay so now as you can see this is how our search component is looking like so now if i type here you can see i am getting this clear button as well because here i have marked this input field as a search here so now everything looks good and here right now what we have to do is we know that we have to filter from the customer data okay so customer data is gonna to be a permanent object which contains the those customer data now i need to create a replica of this means temporary customer data so here i will create this by using the ug state so here const and tempo or let's call it as temp data okay set temp data use state initial value is gonna to come from the customer data only so 
custom or data okay and i need to import this from react only i don't need this development and all those okay so now here we have to be smaller and instead of looping through this customer data i will look through this temp data so if you can see nothing has been changed here because initial data is getting set as a here temp data this customer data and again it will be passed here okay so right now i want to trigger here on change event so now this on change event will give me a access to event and through this event i will get the value what user is trying to type there so right now i will create a function and i will pass that value to a function and that function basically will be responsible for the changing the list okay so right now here let me write here on search change okay and here i need to pass this value so e dot target so event dot target dot value so this function doesn't exist as of now so let's create this function here okay and here i will get the search value and right now here let me do console dot log to this value here now let's get back go to inspect and console and let me start typing here something so hi i got here hi okay if i click here i got nothing okay so right now here let's remove this logo because we are not using and here let's provide this key as a index value and we will get second parameter as a index here so right now we are passing this value so now in order to manipulate this state i need to use filter function and here i will update this state and it will get reflected on ui so for that here what i have to do is i can write here so const new data and here i i need to search always from the customer data because that is the permanent list okay so here i will pass this filter function and this filter function again gonna to give me a parameter so i will call it as customer okay and here basically the filter works on boolean value if value is true it will return that object and if value is false it will not return that object okay so here what i will do is i will write customer dot and we know the customer have this name and i would like to search by a name only so here name dot and i am gonna use a function called includes okay so basically this includes is gonna to compare any string in between and gonna to return the value in boolean okay so right now includes and here i need to pass this value so here this value and i am passing and it will compare with the name if that includes that means it's true and it will store that value here so now let me do console log to this new data and get back here so here i wrote k and as you can see i got nothing because here k is capital and here k is small so we need to convert both letter in a single format and we need to compare so i will write here dot to lower case and here i will write dot to lower case okay so now let's get back and here i searched k and i as you can see i got one record and this is the same record okay now let me type eric so here eric and as you can see i got this eric record okay now let me type here a and double a and what happens i have nothing and here i type 1a and i have 5 record as you can see 
so one record got removed so now we need to update the state so for that here instead of doing this console log we have to update our temporary data so here i will call set temp data okay and now let's get back and here let's type p and as you can see i have this paris data if i type here e i will have all the data related to e let me type lo and here as you can see lo is matching and LO is matching so that's why we are getting this record okay so now we have implemented this search by writing only name what if I want via order number as well so let's consider I have a customer and I need to provide the search option by name and mobile number as well right so how can we do that both together so for that here what we have to do is this is gonna to return me a value and here instead of writing a single condition I will check for multiple condition and that multiple condition can be checked by using or or means here once this condition got failed then only it will come to next condition so here I will write customer dot order and if you are checking for mobile number you can go with mobile and that data definitely should have to be here okay so now here order dot includes and here I need to pass my value and I know very well that this order number is gonna to be a number so I don't need to convert into the lowercase or uppercase okay so now let's get back let me refresh this and here search by this number 118 and as you can see it got searched okay so here we are getting this dollar I think I made some mistake so let's get back here and here as you can see I have this dollar so let's remove that and we don't have any more okay so now as you can see we wrote multiple condition and we are able to search it now 10 and here as you can see 10 is there and 10 is there and I got two record okay so right now if I write here 6 I will get a single record because it's matching a single one okay so now you can use this search filter anywhere means uh, let's consider if you want to implement this with the vehicle application or you want to use in your custom way on your application you have to use something like this okay so here basically what I have been doing is I am calling this on change and on change event here I am passing the value and I am using here filter but the main thing is to remember is you have to keep this permanent list okay you should not change this customer data because this is the permanent that's why I am searching from customer only and setting in temporary data okay so now let's see means what you have done is you have replaced your temporary data with the new one that means the previous data what you had you already lost so you don't have backup for that so that's why here I have kept your customer data and here I am maintaining your temporary data okay so now let's remove so now if you want a other condition what you have to do is you have to write another or condition and you can do that well you can get download link of this code in description of this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section and if you like this content please do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching